Hey, what's going on, Phaser people? Guard Gamer back, bringing you guys some Black Ops gameplay. I go 95 and 13 in this, so I hope that's entertaining. Except for the fact that right here I get noob tooed off the start. Got pretty pissed off about that. But who doesn't love getting noob tooed off the start, right? Yeah, who, who doesn't? That was sarcasm, if you did not realize it. I hope you did. But anyway, let's jump right into the commentary. Um, This is going to be about Black Ops 2 thoughts so far. Um, So far, I've watched a, a little bit of gameplay. I've watched maybe six or seven games. Um, on the live stream and before I even start make sure you guys watch the next two days well if you're interested make sure you guys watch the next two days on twitch tv.com slash treyarch or call of duty.com or t I think it's even on the xbox they're streaming it so make sure to check into that for some live gameplay that they're playing they're putting a optics playing and they have a whole bunch of like pro teams playing against each other so it's pretty entertaining and you'll get to see the game and how it plays and how it runs and all that stuff but to start off on my thoughts that I've seen so far, the game looks very, very, very balanced. It looks looks like there's no BS ex for the exception of like, well, really nothing. I don't know. It's, I'll get into that later. But you know, I'll, I'll do it now. There's one. There's one thing that looks like it could be a little overpowered, but it, it's a point streak. It's or a score streak. But that is what they call it now. It's called a. I think it's called the War Machine, and it's an automatic grenade launcher. <laughs> that sounds a little dangerous, doesn't it? But um. It was not White Boy put a video up, and he said he can assure you that it just it looks doesn't look too overpowered. And I think he talked to some people saying that it wasn't overpowered, so at least it's a score streak and not like everybody can have it. So hopefully it's a it takes a lot to get it. Uh, what else is there? We got the knife is said to be very nerfed in a Reddit thing. That's what Woody put on his channel. The knife being nerfed is something really new, and it could change the pace of Call of Duty just because people always have to knife. They would have to panic knife. I'm not even gonna lie; I do it too. I, I I panic knife because it's an option. I'm not gonna. It's just I just have that that quick instinct, I guess. So you can hit on me if you want, but if they took out panic knifing, I would love it. I'd rather it be gone and not be able to do it anymore. But it's it, they're not taking it out. It's it's back. The regular knife is back. You always have it on your side, but. You, uh, the guy said it. You don't lunge really anymore. You don't lunge. You, you basically take your knife out, but you stay in place. So you actually have to run up to them and knife them. You're not going to lunge at all. You you have to go up to them, basically touch them, and then knife them. It's the only way you can get the kill. I mean, that sounds like a lot better. Um, another thing is the ghost perk. Now is you can only be seen when you're moving, so you can't sit in a corner and use the perk effectively because it, it won't work like that I guess they put some implement into the game where it just won't it won't work and what people are wondering is what does that mean fully like if you move like two feet and then it's it works again or you have to move like you have to be in sprint mode do you have to be in full motion or something like that it we don't know it could be if it's like that I think it'd be worked better because then it'll force you to move out of the places more force you to get into the action and not just sit and wait which we like, which I like, because I use Ghost, I use Assassin too, I'm not going to lie, but I use it effectively, I, I rush a lot, I just, I just get too bored waiting, I, I can't wait and just wait for kills, it's just too boring for me, I, I need the action, that's why I always play Ground War and I love playing Domination, that's why I always have long videos. Uh, The Death Machine is back, I know everyone's going to like that, they showed some, some footage of it, and it's back as a score streak, so you'll be able to get that after being awarded from kills and assists and all that stuff and it, it looks really it's got a really high fire rate it shoots a lot and another good thing is like once you have it you have to use all the bullets like if you die you won't lose it is what I'm saying which is uh definitely good the new point system looks really good to, to, to say this to say the least it looks really good you'll get rewarded for for everything. You, if you cap a flag, I think it counts as, um, if you cap a flag off the start of the game, I believe it counts as a regular kill, but then if you, if someone else takes it and you recap it, I think it's 200. So you really get rewarded for playing the objective in this game. Like, even a set, if you put a UAV up, I think you get 15 points for, for, if, for every kill that anyone else gets. So that's big. You, if you're going to get points for everything, people that play the objective are going to rack up points and prestige faster than people who just want to get kills. I'm not going to lie, I like to just get kills a lot, but th it's because the objective never appealed to me. This is a whole new game with a lot of new game types. I'll get right into that right now. The first thing that they were talking about was the multi-team team, team deathmatch. And 
That looked really fun. It looked like free for all, but you can be on a team, which is good. Like you, that that'll force you to play as a team, and people that love game battles will definitely be into that stuff. Um, there was also Woody said that there there's gonna be um multi-team domination and multi-team demolition and like it's probably gonna be a set like playlists it'll it'll probably be like that and that is something i would definitely want to try because i'm a i love playing domination that's my favorite game type because i just the spawns don't flip enough it's don't flip a lot so that's like my favorite game type and if they were to put in multi-teams for that i don't know how in god's name they would work that out but i would love to try it i'd love to get a couple people and try it on a three on three Oh, speaking of which, really quick, if you guys want to play with me, I really want to get some people to start playing with. I'm probably going to do some Black Ops, maybe a little MW3. I'm on PS3. I'm sorry, Xbox guys, but my PSN is GoHard underscore or GoHome4. And I'll I'll probably put it in the description so you guys can uh, just write it down. And if you guys want to add me, just comment down below if you are adding me so I know who you are. So I don't just delete the, the request. That's what I usually do. And moving on, what else we got? Uh... Um, yeah, I talked about the War Machine Oh, yeah, the Combat Axe is coming back, and it's playing out the same way as the Tomahawk did, which Vicstar did a video on this, and he said he didn't like how that, how it's going to be the same because he likes to do something new, but I lo I was in love with the Tomahawk. I was begging for them to bring it back. They didn't, they're not calling it the Tomahawk, they're calling it the Combat Axe, but it's like the same thing. I mean, it, it bounces off stuff. If you throw it at like a wall, it'll bounce right back at you. It even has the same crosshair. You, I've seen it in the gameplay. They're trying to chuck it across the map. It even look, it even looks like it goes really far the way they're throwing it. It looks like it just flies across the map. I don't, I don't know how fast it's gonna go, how far it's gonna go, but I guess I hope it goes faster. I don't know, cause then you can get some long distance random kills. That's what everyone's gonna start doing when the game comes out. Those will get a lot of views on YouTube. We all know that. Ooh, maps. Maps look good. Maps look good so far. There's, I think there's sure three or four of them. I think they're like carbon, uh, not carbon, cargo. Yeah, cargo, aftermath, stuff like that. I think, I think there were, there was other maps, but I didn't get to see them. I didn't watch all the gameplay that they put up. I uh, slept through it by accident. <laughs> it's too, it was too early for me. But uh, the maps are actually interactive too. At least cargo is, and the way it's interactive is there's a bunch of crates in the middle. And during the game, a big claw is going to just come down and just pick them up and switch them around, I guess, to, like, mess with your head a little. I don't, I don't know how I don't know how that's going to go, but it's just going to move them around and, I guess, get rid of them and put some back. And just going to look different. It's going to make the map look different and play out different uh, every every couple minutes, I guess. Hmm. Kind of like a launch with the, with the rocket. That was... <laughs> everyone loved the rocket. What else is there? We got... The game sounds a lot more realistic than usual. I'm not gonna. It sounds really realistic. It sounds kind of like Battlefield. I'm not gonna lie. It sounds kind of like Battlefield. When someone threw a grenade and they it blow up, it just it sounded pretty real. It sounded like it had that that just effect, like you were in the game and you were just hearing it. So, I mean, it, the game sounding realistic doesn't have much to do with it, but I don't know. It it just sounds better. It's just it sounds so much cooler. It makes you feel like you're in the action. It makes you feel like you're 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 right there and you're you're playing in the war, which always makes it better. But yes, the game sounds a lot better. It sounds kicked up. I guess you could say. I don't know how that's gonna roll with sound whoring, but I love sound whoring. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love sound whoring? Hmm. All right. And the the last thing I want to talk about is the live streaming feature, which looks awesome it looks great they were showing it they they it's not even tweaked yet and it looks great you have like hastro was doing a a, a podcast over it and look at me just tearing this team to shreds look at him tear him up tear him. look at this guy what's he looking at the sky get off don't point your gun at the ground man people are on the ground not in the sky <laughs> but Yes, I want to talk about the live streaming, and it, look, it looks awesome. It looks like a great feature if you just if you're even if you're not the best at the game, but you want to just live stream to your channel like someone good's playing, or you have a couple friends playing, and you want to commentate over it. By all means, go ahead. The uh, Vonderhart said that anybody could do it. Anybody could use this. It doesn't cost any money, and there's just a bunch of features to it. Like one of them is like you can push the first. It'll be full screen the, the game, and then you can. Make it a smaller screen. Look at the scoreboard on the side, and and there'll be little little numbers to see who's on kill streaks. Whoever it'll say, whoever's got the highest kill streak would probably be who you want to switch to, and you could switch to your point of view, 
and then get their gameplay on the screen so everyone can see how they're doing. That's awesome. I mean, you could just you could, that means you could stay in the action. There's also like a like a heat map type thing, and it shows where everyone is, even with or for the multi-team things. It'll show them where they are, and whoever's closest to the action or whoever's in the action on a kill streak, you can switch right to them really quick so that you never have to get out of the action. They'll always have be a second of where this where you're showing them. <coughs> sorry, where we're showing them where everyone is and just doesn't end basically. <laughs> Which is good. And the, the real quick, the, the game types are... It's not they're different. The, the score limit looks a little different. I don't even know how it goes, but... I, I think it goes up to 30 or 45. I don't know. I, th I think the multi-team, the 3-on-3-on-3-on-3 three on three on three on three is up to 45. Or no. There was just a time limit. There was a time limit in the thing. I don't know how they're going to freaking do that. Man, I don't develop the game. I just watch the gameplay and bring it to you guys. The thoughts. That's what I do. So... That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the thoughts that I have. There's going to be more gameplay in the next two days, and I'll maybe bring another a, sec, a part two for this. Yeah, I'll probably do a part one for this and bring you a part two if there's anything new. But if there's nothing new, anything new, I'll just leave this how it is. I might do a little update video in the middle of the next one. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to comment down low if you guys watched what you saw. Maybe I didn't mention, because I would love to know. I, I love to know any piece of news, so... Don't forget to rate the video, comment it, subscribe if you like the content. I'll see you guys later. Go Hard Gamer, out.